Hi. In this week's Bible View Tip of the Week, we're going to be discussing the seven things that every activist needs to know about blessings. But for the sake of time, we're only going to cover three of them. The first thing that every activist needs to know about blessings is that blessings are at a place and a time. We see this in Numbers chapter 11, verse 9, where the Israelites are in between the, uh, the Egypt and Canaan, and they're in their camp, and God's blessing them with manna. It clearly says that manna, that the manna occurred in the evening on the camp. So if you came either prior to the appointed time or after the appointed time, then you would have missed your blessing of the manna. You would have ate that day. The same thing is true in activism. You have to keep in mind that your blessing is at a place and at a time. And if you get there too soon or if you're in the wrong place, then you can't complain when you don't receive your blessing. The second thing that every activist has to know about blessings is the ability to recognize your blessing opportunity. We see this in Genesis chapter 40 in the story of Joseph in the prison. What happens is that the cupbearer and baker are frustrated because they have a dream, but they need an interpretation for it. So Joseph, recognizing his blessing opportunity, asks them what's wrong. And he, and he lets them know that he has the ability to interpret their dream. This opened up the door, a unique door for him that eventually led to him being promoted. We have to do the same thing in activism. We have to be sensitive to the opportunities that God's presenting us so that we can use the, the things that God's given us, our unique gifting, our unique background, to, to walk through that door that he's opened for The third us. thing we need to know, which is closely related to recognizing our blessing opportunity, is that after you, we've identified our blessing opportunity, that we have to pursue our blessing. Um, we see this in 1 Samuel chapter 17, the story of David and Goliath. Now, David was just a shepherd boy. So when King Saul issued the, the Goliath challenge, David wasn't part of the king's army. But he knew that this was his, uh, his chance, so he chased it. He went up to King Saul and let him know that he had the ability to take out Goliath. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to learn from this as it applies to activism. The first thing is that we have to be willing to step outside our comfort zone in chasing our, in chasing our blessing opportunity. The, the thing about David is that David never was a soldier. He was a shepherd boy, but he had experience taking out bears. So he had to be willing to, to, to move himself from just being a shepherd and looking over sheep to putting himself in, in the middle of combat, in a militaristic situation. The second thing we can glean from this that every activist should apply to their lives as it relates to their blessing is that other people don't know what's inside of us, so we have to tell them. David had to tell the king King Saul, what was his experience? What was his background? Why he was qualified for this opportunity? Well, that wraps up this week's version of Actives Academy Week. Well, don't forget to check us out on our YouTube page as well, um, where you can get updates on in terms of videos that are related to social justice news. Um, also, don't forget to look us up on our website, www.activistacademy.com go for social networking tools that are tailored specifically for community activists, as well as uh, check out our blog, that which is updated regularly. Um, and you can also get biblically-based training and watch other videos that are related to activism. Well, until next week, this is Ken Blackwell saying, have a good night and have a